The royal physician Anton Sokolov is now in the custody of the Loyalists. Through Sokolov, it will be possible to strike directly at those closest to the Lord Regent. How cooperative will the most brilliant man in the Empire be? He must be swayed or coerced, coerced into telling what he knows. They set up a cell for Sokolov in the old kennel. Shackles and everything. It'll be a shock, him waking up in the straw and old dog poop. But from what I hear, he's woken up worse places. Guess we all have at that. That would suck to get choked out and then wake up hours later somewhere you don't know where you are. Basically, getting kidnapped would suck. Well done, Corvo. Well done. I doubt a dozen soldiers could have done it better. Sokolov's knowledge will enable us to strike at the Lord Regent directly, and ultimately help you get your life back. Soon, we won't have to hide in the shadows. The Royal Physician is brilliant, but he was a fool to protect the Lord Regent. Sokolov gave us the elixir, the war machine. He could have made us a great nation. Now he pays the price for siding with a tyrant. You have my thanks, sir. If you wish to get some sleep, now is a good time. Sleep sounds good. Corvo, wake up. You were making funny faces while you were sleeping. I decided to nap here in your room while Callista was taking her bath. She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. You can stay here whenever you want. Callista will come get me when she's done with her bath. Thanks, Corvo. It makes me feel better. No problem, little girl. Hey, little girl. Yeah, you know, you're doing all your homework? That's good. That's nice. To Sokolov. Attention, Dunwall citizens. The Ascendancy Circle has chosen Teague Martin to be High Overseer. Let us all praise their choice. The dance of investiture will take place without delay. Sokolov needs our attention. Royal Physician. What's up, buddy? Corvo. You're part of this rabble. But I know you have your reasons. Yes, he does. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. It's very simple. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. Um, alright, well, let's see if I can bribe you. A curious strategy. Of which I approve. Alright. I could use a drink. Dude, move, you're in my way. Not the swill to be found here, but the fine spirits. All right. I so had a flask in my studio. Apparently, we need to talk to Piero. Yes, I love when it doesn't know what I want it to do. Renovation of Caldwin's Bridge. Dude, grab the ceiling, definite. Jesus. Until then, citizens cross at their own risk. Piero. Wait. There he is. Piero? Hey, what are you doing, buddy? You peeping, Tom? I know it looks. I was inventing a new kind of lock. The tumblers. Shaped like snowflakes. Okay. The truth is, there is no snowflake lock. I was <laughs> just, you know, looking through the lock. You pervert. 
Um, please don't do that here. I couldn't bear it if she knew. I know you're a man of honor, and I also know that you can kill me at any time. And for both of these reasons, I apologize and beg for your discretion. And preserving the hey, wait, of our that's fine, but I need to talk to you about something. It's well known that Sokolov is virtually addicted to a rare liquor called King Street Brandy. The taste is revolting, but I happen to have a bottle. However, I am reluctant to give it to you for Sokolov. It cost me quite a lot. It is very expensive stuff, a blend of rare Pendician spices and a drop of whale oil. Would you care to purchase it? Depends on how much it is. Sokolov is a potential ally. I'll take the brandy. And yeah, I've come this far. New upgrade available. The blueprint you bought to PRO unlocks this upgrade. Okay. Brandy. Upgrade. Huh. Bone, yes, please. Purchase, and I'll get that boot one while I'm at it. Got 700 coins. I've heard that this is good. I'll get that. Thanks, bro. Thank you. Jeez, what's with everyone hitting me with doors and stepping in my way? Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. All right, here's your liquor. I assume we will continue this soon. What's up, buddy? I found a bottle of King Street for you. King Street brandy? I didn't know any more existed. It is an extraordinary gift. I see I'm dealing with men of taste. I can't tell you this much. She was always referred to as Lady Boyle. I painted her to be sure, but I never saw her face or learned her first name. You see, I painted her from behind. I assure you, she still makes a striking portrait. But I do not know which Boyle she is. I was to be introduced to her at a masked ball in her honor this very night. But I will miss that party, it seems. A masked ball at the Boyle estate? Tonight, the timing is perfect, Corvo. But the Boyles are wealthy and ruthless, so security will be very tight. Of course, you already have a mask, don't you, Corvo? He's right. I do. You will be able to mingle with them once you're on the ground. You'll have to find out which of the Boyle women is connected to the Lord Regent and take her out in whatever way you can devise. We're very close now. If you do this tonight, you'll be able to strike at the Lord Regent himself and put Emily on the throne. May the wind favor you. Okay. So I'm going to a I'm going to a ball. I hear you're off to the Boyle's little bash tonight. I have just a tiny favor I'd like to ask you. Could you give this note to Lord Shaw? You'll know him. A rather brusque man wearing a wolf's mask. In fact, he may be looking for me. Uh, Pendleton, huh? I don't really trust you. Your brothers are weirdos. Remember we put them in a prison camp? Ook. Sammy. Take me to the ball. The boy old costume ball, huh? Well, that'll be fun, but not for everybody. You ready? Yeah, let's go. 